Yeah, look, it was a you know it was a really tough contest in the first half. Obviously, in the scoreline certainly reflected that. But you know, full credit to the players, you know, to, to play at the full 80 minutes and you know to still have that belief down 14-7 and, and to come back the way we did in the last 15 minutes. You know, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of spirit and a lot of you know a lot of belief. And you know, certainly the crowd played a major part in that. We played a lot of the rugby and, and found ourselves seven points behind. But I think. We were confident that we could uh, get back down there and get field position and up the intensity. And you know, I think it was really pleasing with the way we finished out the game and, and the scores that we got. You know, um, it's, it's a really positive thing. And you know, it, we didn't die away. I think a lot of you, you could have, we could have died away and, and um, you know, gone into our shell. But we didn't. We responded well and, and got the result. Uh, two things. I, I think the first thing we're, we're playing for our lives, really. You know, you're playing at home with a tremendous record, and we spoke about it. You know, t- today before the game, that we certainly, you know, we, we've uh, it's been gained. You know, over a long period of time, with with a lot of guts and a lot of you know spirit and passion at the same time. We certainly weren't weren't ready to give that up. And I think obviously, you know, the reserves that came on, you know, added a great impetus and certainly gave us a great try forward. Being honest about it, we, we, we were all dealing with our with our collective disappointment, disappointment and our, our personal disappointments. But I, I think um, we really knew I, we, we knew that we had to come out today and, and put in a big performance and, and get a, a good win. And um, no, I think everyone everyone dealt with it in their own particular way, and we all knew that as a collective we needed to turn up today, and, and we did that. And I'm happy with that, you know. I think any any time you win, it's always important, especially so you know at home with our record that we have here. It was important that we we gave a performance um, today, and we, we got a result. And look, it's been a tough week. It certainly has a mask or, or take away our previous you know performances on the road, but you know it certainly leaves uh, you know something to build on. Massive disappointment for us to be out of Europe, or sorry, out of the Heineken Cup. Um, you know. It's not an ideal situation to be in, but at the same time, it's great for us to be. Uh, you know, if we get in, it's, it's it's another competition and something that we'll try and strive to win. Yeah, look, it, it certainly wasn't our driving force today. You know, our driving force today was you know about getting a result here at home and, and, and all that it, that it entails. It was certainly in the back burner. We didn't we didn't speak about it or or hang our hat on it today, but. You know, certainly going forward will give us you know another opportunity to, to get a trophy uh, if, if we make it, and certainly gives us you know an op- opportunity to continue to to grow the squad during that period. It's something that that wasn't really dis- discussed during the week. We really just went out went out to put in a performance and and to just do the very best that we possibly could for for the fans and for ourselves and you know for everyone involved. Um, it, it's a competition. It's a European Cup competition, and there's a trophy at the at the end of the season. I think. Um, if we are involved in it, we'll, we'll, we'll put a wholehearted effort into it. I, I don't know, as I said, where, where we stand at the moment, but certainly if we get the chance to play in a European Cup competition, we'll be going after it you know, wholeheartedly. Every time we have a break, whether it's the Autumns or the Six Nations, it's always important to, to have a result, and you know, especially one that, that comes from behind and shows a lot of character to get through. It certainly gives everyone a, a huge buzz and you know, gives, gives the players and the staff, but also I think the supporters and the, and the province itself to go away you know, feeling good, and you know, especially when you're on a break for six weeks or so with regards to players coming back in. So sort of like the last season of the game, you've got nothing to play for. If you can get a result there, it certainly you know, sends you in a bit more uh, positive. A lot of the media and perception is that we're a team that's over the hill. We're a team that's had it, and personally, I don't think uh, I don't agree with that. And um, you know, I think we've got to to prove that over the next couple of months. And as you say, I think uh, you know, certainly now during the Six Nations, there'll be a lot of chances for a lot of the younger guard to come in. And uh, you know, with them making that step up, I think it'll push a lot of the older guys as well. And that'll only push the team forward. So, as you said, there's a lot of little areas that we need to tweak, need to improve on, and hopefully we can do that over the next couple of months. You know, whether it be when the international guys are away or when the international guys are back. But you know, for us, from now to the end of the season, obviously, if we get into the Challenge Cup, obviously we're going to try and win that, and we're going to obviously try and win the Magnus League. So, you know, there's still two competitions there for us, and uh, you know, hopefully we can bring silverware back this season. Yeah. 
we just need to look at the younger guys in our squad. We just have to look at the, the A result last night in terms of, of of the quality that is coming through. Maybe there's a, there will be you know a few positional changes and stuff like that, but I mean that happens in every team. But I think we've got the quality within the squad as we stand to, to go right on and continue as being a big force in, in European rugby. I mean, um, we you, you can point at, at different players. Um, you know, and, and age groups and stuff like that, but certainly right throughout our squad there's quality, you know, and I, I, I don't accept that uh, that it's over for us, I don't accept it for one minute, you know, I think that there's a big future for Monster Rugby yet.